Positive, it's Janet Jabber. I'm coming at you with episode 122. If you are new to my channel, this is a channel about cross stitch. I hope you like what you see. Subscribe, comment, thumbs up, do all the things. If you're a returning friend, thank you so much for coming to visit me again this week. It is a wonderful morning. Um, we got some snow over the weekend, which I love snow at this time of the year. Granted, I don't want it all year long, but um, I love just it helps with my mental status of like, hibernation. We'll get into that later, but I got snow. <laughs> so anyway, um, I want to give you, we're going to jump right in. Um, I don't know. I don't, I'm so excited. I'm always so excited to see you. I had somebody tell me, Janet, it's okay to breathe. I, I do. I do breathe, but I am usually, this is me. I, I, um, when I'm excited about something, this is me. So yeah. And I'm always excited to see you guys and spend time with you. All right, so I wanted to show you an old piece of stitching that, um, and you're probably hearing my dogs drink their water obsessively. I don't know what has gone on to the old, uh, all the crazy noises while I'm recording now. <laughs> anyway, sorry, distracted. All right, old stitching. Um, after my, um, I stitched this piece probably 21 years ago. Actually, this is a series, so I stitched them all along. I do not have information on these pieces. I, they were like almost handwritten charts, but I wanna share with you and I'll be sharing you every month as um, we go progress through the year. But I got this back after my father passed away. I had stitched this for my mom. And you can tell it's old by the holder that it's in. So look at this little data. Does everybody remember all this heart stuff that came from the craft stores? This piece, sits in here by dowel rods. And I'm gonna pop it out just so that I can really show you, I hope that doesn't make noise, um, what I have here. So these are little band samplers and I learned specialty stitches at the bottom on every single one. Um, this one looks like the Smyrna Cross was one. I'm not gonna remember as I go through these. I won't even pretend because yeah, I won't. Um, but I simply finished it. This is um, just banding. And then a piece of sticky felt, look, it's just aged. <laughs> and we would switch them out every single month. So this one was the first one I probably gave her. It's seeing some ratty tattiness, but um, it's still part of my life and I'm happy to have it out. It's actually displayed in my crafting room and I change it out every month. So I wanted to share that little bit of old stitching um, that came back to me. And then let's get into a couple things. Um, I wanna remind you about my happy mail in the links below. Um, if you fill that out, I'll randomly send happy mail once a month at least is what I do. Um, yes, it helps with my drawings, but it's not necessary. So there's that. Um, and speaking of um, drawings, um, I also have two links in the description box below, the buy me a coffee and the Kofi. And I need to say a special thank you to a Melissa Sheila and Julia. So thank you very much for the coffees. And because of um, the help with that, we do giveaways. Now this giveaway was given to me from a box of goodness from Fran, but this helps with the mailing with it is what the coffees do. So the giveaway from last week was this festive tree. I had lots of comments on whether the trees were down, they didn't put them up or, or whatever. So that was so cool to see just the variety of what people do. Um, I liked especially one of them that said, um, I uh, leave my tree up until the Super Bowl and we take it down during Super Bowl. I would, that would cause me so much anxiety because I'm like usually screaming at the TV during Super Bowl or cheering or whatever. Um, I don't even care who's in the game. I just love to watch the Super Bowl. Um, I do have my team that I cheer for all year long, but they, they didn't make it this year. <laughs> so anyway, enough about that. This is going to Susan ba Barnes. Barnes, I think that's how your name's pronounced. So Susan, um, I will look on my happy mail, but you can shoot me an email at janetjabber at gmail.com and I can get this out to you in the mail. I am caught up with all my other um, mailings for this week. So, but I'm gonna kind of like take this week off from giveaways and we'll jump back in next week. So I love doing that. I love sharing and that's it. And speaking of sharing, I have a featured friend, and this is the last one I have for right now, but um, Christine is getting us ready for February. Um, so I'm going to pop her pictures in here. These are the Waxing Moon Designs. Um, there's like a, a series of like monthly ones. So this is her February one, super cute. That bear just cracks me up. Um, I don't know what he's going at. He's like waking up. No, he's in hibernation. Why is that bear there? Hibernation? I don't know, but he's super cute. And that's all that really matters. 
So um, with that, we're going to move into my stitching. Um, I want to emphasize, if you've been with me for a while, you know I do not always have this much finishing. I do not have any fully finished projects this week, but I did finish off a few things again. So the first one I'm super proud of, and now I have to go find another redhead to put into my stitching lineup. But, um, sorry, I have to bend a turn over here every single time. My dreaming girl. This is, I always have a redhead on the go in, in um, honor of my daughter, let's just say. But uh, I finally finished Dreaming Girl. She's so beautiful. So beautiful. I had so much fun stitching her. Um, I did the conversion on her shirt. This is Mary Ashcraft's number. So um, it's to make her look like Meredith from Brave. Um, super fun to stitch. I started that on February the 4th, 2021. And I finished it January 18th. I, I, I don't know exactly. I guess I didn't mark it off. I need to look back through my planner. These things aren't always perfect for me because you got to do them. But I did stitch it on 32 count <clears throat> Azure Blue Lugana. So that was so fun to stitch. And now I'm going to dig. I have an idea which redhead girl I'm going to dig out. But yeah, my next finish was so close. And I knew I was probably bringing this to you. So this one is Polar Bear. Um, it is from the Primitive Stitch. Nope. Punch Needle and Primitive Stitch. Oh, I'm so sorry, Deb. I always mess up the name of your magazine. I love it dearly. But this is a Lindy Stitches design that was in the winter of 2020. So um, that's where you can find this if you want. She's probably releasing all this. I know that she. I've seen a couple of those come out already. So it will come out eventually if you're, if you're wanting to wait for that. One last fish finish that was like spontaneous, not planned. And I have a few of those like pushed to the side that are smaller if I get through like my smalls I want every month, then this one will come out as like a backup. So what I'm rambling about is um, the snowy chalk foals. I have decided um, I'm not doing all the big ones. I did do one big one. <clears throat> I did collect all these, but I am doing this one right here. <coughs> I apologize. Last week I did this too. All right. This is stitched on a count, 32 count coffee tea dyed by me. And I have made some changes in it. I probably need to make the notes, but I don't know where they are right now. All right, so instead of emphasizing red, I blue is me for um, winter time, not red. So I that's probably why it like it. But I changed out to, um, basically I just changed out to the dark blue. So the aqua was what was called for. I just substituted blue for where red was. And I like it so much more. And yes, I had to put the black eyes and mouth and buttons in because I stitched it on this color fabric instead of black. But I love how it turned out. Super cute. Super cute. All right. So that is all my finishes for the week. So we're going to move into my stitching. Uh, I always start you out with my Mirabilia Queen. Winter Queen. A little bit of glare. But here she is. I want to point out that this is being stitched also things are falling by um, Carolyn Stitches and the Virginia Stitcher is also working on these. I know that there's more than that. So give me a shout and I'll get you on here. I don't have a hashtag. I know that there is a Mirror Monday hashtag by um, Floss Toss. Nope. Nope. Crossed and Floss. I think that's her name. Sorry. Uh, um, I gotta get that added. Hopefully I... I'll find it. All right. Anyway, here is my Mira. <laughs> I uh, love how she's coming along. I did last week. I said to you, oh, I need some more blue. So all of this blue from like here down and here has been added. I love how she is looking. Um, Carolyn reached out to me and asked me if I was doing the fuzzy um, whisper as I was going along. And um, I had not been, but I'm going to go back and add that, I think, because it, it's just less distraction of like what I need to go back in. So I usually save any of the crinic and the beading for the end. Um, but I hadn't really thought about that until she sent that message to me. And I was like, oh, yeah, I probably want to go back in and do that. But anyway, so that's what I'm progressing on. I will be working on her until the beginning of spring. So a lot more to see there. All right, so I don't like it when he barks and he was barking, so he's joining the show again this week. I have a feeling this is gonna be a thing. I'm sorry for his big barking noise. He's such a little guy and he has such a big bark. Anyway, back to the stitching. Um, I 
am stitching on and a forest grew. I believe I have before picture and after, so I will pop them here. I mean, before picture, so I'll pop it in here. But here is where I have gotten to. Um, I'm super happy with this. The plan is to stitch this um, once a week, like I did my One Nation. So on Sundays, I pull this out because it's a pretty big piece. Um, it doesn't look like it here, but it will be. I believe Julie from Kansas City in a Colorado world, it took her over 100 hours to stitch her whole piece. So um, I'm just plugging along at it. But um, that is so cool. And then my weekly stitching that I do for my Mill Hill Monday, um, this is the piece that I'm working on. And this is where I'm at. I thought I would get further on it, but um, slow, and, slow and steady. This one is slower for me to stitch um, because it's on paper, but that's fine. No bigs. My next one, I have to, this is one handed show now because I hope uh, My uh, hands on design uh, Wicked Wednesday series. So I'm doing snail or snail slime. <laughs> Opie's got me all distracted, doesn't he? And this is where I'm at on that. So I actually got the word snail slime in and a little bit of the underline of the smile. And um, yeah, so this is coming along. Then I decided to do one of my tags this week. Um, my tag, I don't know where I put the little paper. Oh, Opie is like, He's hogging the show, isn't he? <laughs> All right, so um, one of the tags that I had talked to you about, um, it's a series, I'll put her in uh, here, here, but it's So What So What Stitcher. Um, she has this Share the Warmth tag, and it's, um, I love this series. Let me see. I wanna show, I wanna tell you, I'm finding it, sorry. Hopefully we don't hear crazy, crazy. I wanna find my tag that I had written on because I put a note on here that I wanted to tell you. Um, so kind of the theme behind these is um, Christmas is what you make it. And so it, they're like inspirational little things like that, uh, ways to make Christmas for you. So they're these little tags. What I got done on that is the coffee cup in the middle. Opie, we gotta get closer because this is tiny. Um, so this is what it is, share warmth. There's a thing across the bottom and the top. I know I'm not doing the top, but I need to change the coloring, I think, on the bottom just to suit my fabric. So um, this will probably be a finish when I come to you next week. And it won't, it's like probably 100 stitches, but well. But look at that little, do you see Rudolph in that mug? And some marshmallows floating around. Perfect for Christmas and this snowy weather. Yes. <laughs> All right, so that's my stitching that I have for you for this week. I hope you stick around just for this little bit more. Um, it's a short video this week, but I want to show you that I, you know, I send out my happy mail. Thank yous. I received a thank you back, um, for me sending out happy mail and it found her on the perfect day. And I hear that a lot. I'm so glad that these cards bring you blessings, but Pat sent this back to me with a little note, the fact that it did show her up on her day on a perfect day. And I want to show what I mean by you guys give to me just as much. So she sent in here this, um, pocket prayer quilt. So she made this and inside here is a cross and the idea there's a cross charm in here and I can feel it through the fabric. So the idea behind this is that this is in your pocket and I really want to read this and hopefully not mess it up. So the pocket prayer quilt, um, you only need to reach in your pocket and fill the cross within this small quilt. This is a small reminder of God's grace and love. They are with you they're with you always, even if you cannot, if they not, cannot be seen, just as a cross um, lies within this small quilt prayer, prayer quilt. Um, this pat came to me on my mother's birthday, and it's one of my, you know, I have several of these like difficult days through the year, and um, thank you for your goodness on this day because. Um, I was struggling. I mean, we all struggle. So I was struggling that day, just of sadness. I mean, I was a, like, just sadness overtakes me of like, oh, my mom's not here. Why did I lose my mom so young? Um, so thank you for that. Thank you for giving me some goodness. Um, my next thing is back into stitching and I got my fabric of the month from Grace Notes Stitches. So um, <clears throat> I want to share that. So if you um, have not received yours for the month of January, then look away. But I also want to point out that the thank you notes are from the entire family now because all everyone is a help in this process. So look away if you don't want to know. This is what it's called. 
I'm gonna unfold it just a little bit. Opie's settling down on my lap. I think he just wants to be held and be part of my video. I love the goodness of this. It's perfect. So I do get an 18 count and that's that. So, all right, so you can look back if you looked away. Okay, Opie, you can sit up here. So that is that. So um, I, I, as I mentioned earlier, my happy mail, if you have filled that form out, form out, has finally gone out for this month. I'm sorry that it's late. I usually get it out earlier or like mid, ha like at the halfway point or right before the halfway point for the month, but a little bit late this month, but they're still on their way. So, um, and then I'm not sure what my plans are going to be for this week. So just a little point out, um, I don't know, this time of the year for me is where it's like hibernation mode, regenerate my, my body, my soul, do those kind of things. I just kind of like keep my head down, go to work, um, find my peace and calm with my stitching and just like rejuvenate myself to get ready. Um, because I don't know, it's just how I witness this time of the year. So my husband talks about eventually being a snowboard and I'm like, but if I'm a snowboard, I don't get that regeneration that I need. So I don't know, that's down the road. I am not to that point yet, but whatever. <laughs> so as far as plans, I really don't have exactly ones. I'm kind of like pulling out what's calling to me besides my, like my weeklies. Um, and so that's it. I'm kind of just rambling because I really don't know. If you, uh, I don't know, in the comments below, since I'm not doing a giveaway this week, um, maybe tell me how you rotate through. Do you just, are you monogamous or do you like have certain things that you rotate through? My number of whips really doesn't stress me out, but um, I don't know. Some things just call to me and I'm like, hey, let's work on that. So that's what I do. On a personal level, um, this next weekend, my, uh, I call them my kids, my daughter and Colton. My kids come home for the weekend. It's Colton's birthday on Friday. Um, unfortunately, I'm at work, so I, I will not be part of like the dinners and stuff like that, but they, they know I love them. So um, there's that and that's all I got. So I'm gonna get off of here so you can get on to the next video and um, have a wonderful day. Enjoy your week. If it's either hibernation or whatever, get up enjoy life. Enjoy life. So I am going to get out of here because Opie evidently needs to be a lap dog today. <laughs> so keep stitching, enjoy life, and we're sending you so much love. Bye!